Hi friends, uh, our next live session is on the 9th of June 2019 from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. These are regular hours on a Sunday and this live session is public and it's open to everyone. So you can actually watch this and participate in this live session on YouTube itself. So this is a public live session for the interest of everyone, not just our registered students. And the topic this time here is how to prepare for machine learning interviews. This is a question that we have been asked multiple times by multiple candidates and students. So we thought we'll shed a deep insight into how to optimally prepare for machine learning interviews and the preparation for machine learning interviews differs from person to person, right? So we'll discuss how should freshers prepare for machine learning interviews and how should experienced software engineers or experienced professionals who have prior experience in machine learning or outside of machine learning, how should they prepare for machine learning interviews? So this is one aspect that we'll go into in lots of detail. Similarly, we'll also go into some depth about how to prepare for machine learning interviews based on your current profile, right? So you might be a software engineer or you might be a testing engineer or you might be a database administrator or you might be a software development manager, right? So you might, you might come up, you might have prior experience in a wide spectrum of fields, right? So based on each of these fields, and based on your domain of expertise, maybe you're working, maybe you have a prior experience in banking IT, right? Or you have prior experience in pharma IT, right? So you may have prior experience in pharma IT. Based on your current profile, how should you prepare for machine learning interviews is something that we will dive into as part of this discussion. Similarly, the preparation for machine learning interviews also depends slightly on your educational background. If you're a computer science student, if you have studied computer science engineering or MCA in computer science, the type of preparation that you need will be different, slightly different from if you're, if you're an electrical engineering student or if you're a mechanical engineering student or you're a student with mathematics background or physics background, right? So how, how should this preparation and there, there are different strategies because the expectation in machine learning interviews from a computer science engineer is going to be different from an electrical or electronics engineer. From an electronics or electrical engineer, they expect that uh, the, the, the machine learning interviewer would expect that you know foundational concepts in electrical engineering and mathematics like, like Fourier transforms much better than a computer science engineer. Similarly, from a computer science engineer, there is an expectation that you are a better programmer than other than people who are coming from other backgrounds. Similarly, very, very importantly, that's why I put this in a different color to highlight it. Your preparation for ML interviews also will differ based on the company that you're interviewing whether it's a services company, whether it's a product based company, whether it's a top tier company, it depends on the company a lot. And even within the same company, across different teams, based on the team's requirement and necessities, in, within the same company, I've done tons of interviews at Amazon and I've noticed that across various teams of Amazon, there is a different requirement from machine learning candidates, right? So we'll try and dive deep into all these aspects, shedding light into what are the best strategies and what are the best methods and what, what should be your preparation strategy overall before you attend machine learning interviews and see you on this on the next Sunday, which is the 9th of June and on, on at, at 10 a.m. So this is a two hour live session and this is publicly accessible over YouTube. I'll also place a link. I'll also place. So in, in the in the description section of this video, in the description section of this video, I'll place a link to our YouTube live also so that you can subscribe for it and not miss it, right? Having said that, we'll also, we'll also have a chat on YouTube. Anyway, YouTube Live has inbuilt chat. We'll use the YouTube chat itself for any interaction between, between the participants of this live session and our team. Thank you, folks. See you this Sunday and looking forward for a very exciting discussion with all of you.